Oh, wow! Pwede ba yun sa isang camera phone? Maangat at bumabalik. Can't believe it. But yes, this is the brand new Tecto Phantom X2 Pro 5G. And guys, andito na sa akin yung Tecto Phantom X2 non-pro version. Both of which are flagships ni Tecno. Guys, finally meron ng flagship ni Tecno. I've been waiting for this for so long. A combination of innovation, performance, and design. This, my friends, is the best of the best ni Tecno. Noong 2021, merong flagship si Tecno, yung Tecno Phantom X. Kaya lang Helio G95 processor lang siya. Kaya nakagulat, meron siyang Dimensity 9000 processor, 4 nanometers, the world's first 4 nanometer flagship processor in the world. And this is by far the first review ng Dimensity 9000 sa aking channel. And apart from the amazing cameras, the powerful processor, the beautiful design, yung price na guys ay... Alam din naman yung presyo ni Tecno, di ba? Sulit. Kaya without further ado, mag-unbox na tayo ng Tecno Phantom X2 series. It's a beans. Enjoy watching. Unbox na yun. Woohoo! Okay, so ano pang difference nitong dalawa X2? X2 Pro 5G. Beans, parehas pala ka nalang processor dito. Dimensity 9000, 4 nanometers. Para 6.8 inch AMOLED 120Hz refresh rate display Para sa 5,160 mAh battery 45 watts fast charging A lot of similarities Pero doon nagtatapos yun First of all, ipapakita mo na sa inyo si non-pro version Which is ito Ayan po ang itsura niya Ganda! Look at that design And this is like half the price of other flagship phones From other overpriced brands This one, ah beats the competition by a mile. Kanda. Kumikinang. Kumikinang. Laki ng camera. Wow. And of course... And of course, the pro version na nakita nyo kanina. Which is, binali ko sa box. Kasi, unboxing eh. Oo. Parang, di ko nakita kanina. Ano yung kaya ito eh? Wait. Wait lang ah. Look at that. Mas makapal yung lens ni Pro version. Nice. And of course, kasama yung accessories. Ganda ng box ng flagship ni Tecno. And inside, we... Nang laman. Okay, baka meron dito. Wala din. Bakit na box? Pero walang laman. Parang may nahamoy ako hindi maganda. Okay, meron pa naman dito ibang box, so... Ayun, SIM ejector pin. Don't worry guys, parehas naman ako nalang accessories. Except for the jelly case, yung casing iba. We've got here! Wow, ganda! Ito yung kay X2 5G. Ah, you're getting this on the non-pro version. Ganda! Ang ganda ng texture dito. And meron siyang opening sa sides. Laki ng camera module na cut out. And inside, we got the papers. Techno 12 months warranty. Wait, that is 12 plus 1 and 12 months along inflation. We've got here the user manual. It's a pro version. Ayan, same ejector. Ah, yes. Black yung kanyang casing dito. For the orange color. That's nice, matte finish yung likod. Very premium tingnan. And look at this, iba. Ah! The X2 is the Latin American version. Kaya pala iba yung laman. Kasi ganito nakita ko sa mga ibang tech na natin. 12 plus 1. Warranty. So, ayun. Mas mabait sa atin sa Tecno. And, in comparison, mas malaki yung papeles natin. Now, speaking of lucky, actually guys, mas mura tayo ng by 8 to 9,000 pesos compared sa US. That's right. Guys, mamaya, malalaman yung presyo. Malayong malayo dun sa global version. Or global release. So, sa Philippine release kasi guys, mas okay, mas mura. Thank you so much, Tecno. Oh my God! And look at this. Guys, may kasama siyang... USB Type-C earphones. That's nice. And we've got here a USB Type-C cable. And of course, andit na rin si 45 watts charger. That's nice. And mukhang parehas lang sa kabila. Yes, same na same sila. Okay, so ito na silang dalawa. Non-pro and the pro version. So, first of all, the non-pro version is mukhang glass to ah. Gradient back design or effects. Very smooth at the back. Matte finish. Very premium ang kanyang itsura. It reminds me of a special flagship phone from another brand. 
ganun katindi. Ganun yung level niya guys. Yung build quality niya and yung kanyang pagka premium ay on the same level as that. It's incredible. Yung kanyang shape, the size, and it's even got the flagship like unibody double curve design. Only seen on flagship devices. Si pro version naman ay parang si non-pro version. Pero masasya lang ng konti. You get a different set of colors na meron tayong Mars Orange at meron siyang Stardust Gray. Ito Mars Orange, yung kanyang texture dito ay parang leather feels. Feels very premium. Grabe. Iba. iba. So, nung nawakan ko to, premium. Pero ito, nung nawakan ko to, ibang level na. Parang nanggalit ka sa high-end to luxurious. Just like that. It's matte finish, so walang fingerprint sa likod. Unibody, double curve design din siya. Which means, kung ano yung kanyang pagka-curve sa likod, ganun din yung kanyang pagka-curve sa harap. 3D curved. Guys, ang ganda. The shape. I just love the shape. Pero yung pinaka-noticeable talaga dito, yung pinaka-akaiba sa kanya, is yung kanyang camera module. Napakalaki po ng kanyang camera sa likod. Look at that. Have you seen a camera module as big as this? Masyado siyang malaki. Well, meron ako nakita sa ibang brand na, actually na-review ko na yan last year. Meron ako isang phone na sobrang laki ng kanyang camera module sa likod. Isang lens yun ng malaking ganun. But this one is much more trendy. Hindi siya yung parang camera, tapos may konting smartphone. Ayun. Ito naman, smartphone na may konting camera. Ayun. Isa pang major difference between the two is that yung kanyang lens dito sa pro version ay mas makabal. By the way, ano ba yung mga specs itong kanyang camera? Ito na. Now, tulad na nakita nyo sa aking intro, meron po siyang retractable portrait camera lens. Guys, ang sabi doon ni Tecno, ito na yung the first, the world first retractable portrait camera lens sa isang smartphone. Na kapag nag-zoom in ka, gumaganyan siya. Tumatayo, bumabalik. Parang classic professional camera. Tumatayo at bumabalik. Ayan. Hehehe, <laughs> boy. So parang mali sa, mali ito. Mali yung itsura ko dun. That lovely. So here are the specs. Si non-pro version ay merong 64MP RGBW main camera, 13MP ultra-wide angle lens, and 2MP macro lens. Si pro version naman ay merong special 50 megapixel retractable portrait lens. Wait, hindi ito yung main camera niya. Ito yung portrait lens. Meron pa siyang 50MP main camera and a 13MP ultra-wide angle camera. So yung pala yun, no? hindi siya yung main camera itong... Yan. No, it's not the main camera. It's the portrait camera. Kapag nag-zoom in ka lang, you know, kapag ginagawa ko yung zoom in, tsaka lang siya nagsisound ng ganyan. Yan na may sound, guys. May click. That is the portrait lens. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung kanyang main camera. Ito yung kanyang portrait lens. At ito na yung kanyang ultra-wide angle lens. Ayun na naman. Meron pa siyang LED flash dito at merong X sa taas. Parang unlock pala ito, no? May unlock feature sa likod. Ayun lang, in terms of usability, uh, I think you're going to need like a protector para sa ganitong klaseng lens kasi nga pagka uh, nakasit sa table, sila yung unang tatama sa table. Wait, let's try this out right now. Ay, ganda! What? Sobrang nag-complement yung kanyang casing para dito sa body niya. Wow! And look at that! May support siya doon sa side. Oh! 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 Ito yung sa non-pro. In fairness, sobrang gumanda nung nagkaroon siya ng casing. You got protection for your lens so para maprotektan yung likod. And at the same time, astig siya tingnan sa side. So, you know. Ito nga, sobrang nag-complement yung kanyang color dito sa casing which is really cool. Astig tingnan. Pero nag-iba yung feel nung nagkaroon siya ng, nagkaroon siya ng cover. Nag-iba na yung feel niya ngayon. Alam mo talaga mayroong cover sa likod. Yes. Kaya na smooth na smooth yung feel. It felt more unibody kanina. Pero ngayon meron siyang cover, it doesn't feel as unibody-ish. Whatever that means. Now, speaking of the camera, lumabas kami for about one hour. Day three. Ayun, so nag-shoot na kami for about one hour. At ito ang na-discover namin. Unang-una, itong si X2 Pro ay on a league of its own. This one is pretty okay. 64MP, mas malaki yung kanyang megapixel. Baka beans, mas maganda yung kanyang image quality. Kasi 64, ito pipi lang. No, that's, that's not it. Sa smartphone cameras, it's not all about megapixels. It's actually about sensor size, image processing, uh, kung gano'ng kaganda yung, yung processor, yung mga ganun. It's actually a lot of things. Kasi ang problema sa smartphone, guys, maliit lang yung kanilang sensor. So they have to compensate on other stuff. At ito yung mga pictures na nakuha namin. Para makita nyo kung ano yung difference ng dalawa. Unang-una si X2 Pro. Oh my God. Unang picture pa lang. Grabe. Grabe ka-accurate. We were not expecting this kind of accuracy on a smartphone. Ang problema kasi ng mga usual na mga smartphones, guys, dahil sa sobrang liit na kanilang sensor size, uh, hirap na hirap silang kunin yung mga extra details, extra information na kailangan ng smartphone para makuha yung mga real details ng subject. Which in turn, kaya nagko-compensate yung mga mid-range smartphones. By enhancing the photo, 
giving it an artificial color, artificial look na pang Instagram ayon. Which is okay, no? Kapag Instagram lang, Facebook. Kaya lang kapag professional work na, you can't use that. It's already not good for the client. If isa kang photographer, if videographer ka, this is what you need. Nag-picture kami sa labas, nakuha niya yung actual skin tone ko, skin color, pati yung color ng mga plants, saktong-sakto in real life. The details were there, pati yung sa mukha ko. Pero ito, dito talaga ako na sur surprise na. No? We thought that the main camera was just fantastic, but the moment we saw the retractable portrait lens, Ay, grabe. Ang ganda. They were not lying when they said that this was a classic professional camera. Akala may retractable camera lang yung professional sa kanya. No. It's actually the image quality. We're getting professional image quality on this smartphone. And not only that, the background blur. Oh my God! Ito rin. Pinipeke ng mga smartphone to. Pero ito guys. Yung edge detection. Yung edge cutting on point. Wala po ako nakitang peke dito. Oh my God. Wala nga. Perfect yung kanyang foreground and background separation. The subject is so clear, yung background blur, sobrang professional tingnan. And medyo mataba ako dito. Ganun naman talaga in real life, mataba ako dito. Pero guys, meron kami solution. <laughs> meron siyang filter. <laughs> Pwede mo lagi na filter yung kanyang portrait. Pwede mong papayatin ang sarili mo dito. Okay, ito yun na. Ayan o, oh, meron slim body dito na filter sa portrait. And when we did this, pumayat ako. Ayan po yung results. Sumexy na ako. Ayan. So hindi ko na kailangan mag-diet pa, mag-exercise, magpapagod. Ang importante, payat ako sa pictures ko. At saka malaman ang asawa ko. It doesn't matter now. Sana all! But guys, flaunting on Instagram is much easier now. Pwede rin pasexyan yung legs nyo. Ayan, katulad ko. Pinasex ko yung legs ko. Pwede mo rin patabayin. To make yourself thicker. Uso na yung thick ngayon eh. Yung thick na yung... Ang thick na ng legs ko. Ayan. Now with a bigger sensor comes better low light performance. Yes guys, we tried it sa low light. Sobrang low light, walang ilaw talaga sa aming studio. Pinuksal na namin yung pintuan dito sa aming studio ng konti. Hmm, para lang may konting mag na light inside. We took photos with the X2 and the X2 Pro. Ito po yung difference nila. Since mas malaki yung sensor ni X2 Pro, mas maganda yung results. Ayan po, napakalaki ng difference. It's only night and day. No? Uh, medyo dark, dark masyado yung sa non-pro. Sa X2 Pro, sobrang usable niya. You can actually use this uh, in social media. It, itong isa naman parang... Medyo dark talaga. My gosh, this is so surprising for me sa isang techno product. Kasi si Camon is not like this. Uh, yung quality ni Camon versus this one is medyo sobrang layo talaga. This, especially this one. Nung no, nakita na to, this is miles ahead. Alam nyo guys, the only difference between a flagship and a mid-range phone is the camera. A mid-range phone can have a flagship processor, Snapdragon 8 Gen, Dimensity 9000, pero mid-range pa rin siya. Ang never niya makuha is yung flagship camera. Kasi mahal to guys, sobra. And with that, a lot of settings kasama dito, like meron ng AI camera, sa video may ultra steady, sa portrait mode, ang daming filters, like yung pinatos kanina. You can also adjust the background blur, as you wish, from f1.0 to f16. Impressive. And you can even shoot video up to 4K, 60 frames per second. Ito ni sample. Drop niyo 4K niya. 4K, 60 frames per second. Kaya natin. And, check natin yung stabilization. In 4K, well, in charge of stabilized. <laughs> Meron siya ultra steady mode, 1080p nga lang, 30 frames per second. Let's try it out. And not only that, since sobrang ganda na kanya retractable portrait lens, we actually use it for cinematic shots of video. Ito na picture niyan. So naglalakad kami, we were using ultra steady on. Kailangan yan guys, kundi mauga yan. Kaya lang, kapag ka nag ultra steady mode ka, 1080p na lang, 30 frames per second. Ayun. Uh, bawal 60 frames per second, which is, uh, yun lang. Yun lang. Kasi nga mas smooth tingnan ng 60 frames per second. Hindi ka na pwede mag uh, slow-mo. Pag ganito, kasi masyadong malag na yan. <laughs> Pagka in slow-mo. Ito na may selfie video. Check it out. And yes, hanggang 1080p lang yan, 60 frames per second yung selfie video. Overall, we think that the camera on the Tecno Phantom X2 Pro rivals that sa mga the best camera phones from other brands. Probably even better. So nakita ko this <laughs> Ganda, sobra. And this is what? Half the price. Ang mahal na ng mga flagship na yun. Ano ba inisip ng mga ibang brand? Meron ka bang 80,000 uh, in the drop for a base flagship variant? Konting spoiler lang, 40,000 plus. May sumigay sa inyo yung price. 30,000 plus. Now, how can we forget about the displays? It is an integral part of a smartphone. Both phones have identical 
displays. Yes, guys, even this one, the non-pro version, has a 6.8 inch AMOLED unibody double curved 120 hertz refresh rate. 3D curved display. Guys, 6.8 inches ang laki nun. That is a massive screen real estate. Mahal lang na real estate. Ito, 40 or 30k lang. Huh? They had designed this phone to be a flagship in mind. From the shape, the quality, the sharpness and color. Flagship na flagship. Nung nanonood kami ng YouTube dito, 4K 60 frames per second. Ang kanta. Sobrang clear. And the way that the content oozes at the sides, it's on a different. Akala mo lumulutang yung content. Kapag sinagad mo, mang ganito. And although meron siyang punch hole dito, okay pa rin, no? Hindi siya ganun kahalata. It's not as big as other punch holes. Uy, meron din siyang high brightness mode dito. Kapag ka medyo malakas yung ilaw sa labas, parang gagamit yata siya ng HDR para mas malakas yung kanyang peak brightness. Meron din kami ng Netflix dito. Ayun, napakaganda. Uh, 6.8 inches. Yan yung parang sweet spot between a tablet and a phone. Kasi nga, Kapag tablet kasi, sometimes sobrang laki siya. You can't hold it one hand. But this one, even though 6.8 inches siya, you can hold it just like that with no problems. Ayun. At mas personal. If you want to watch some sensitive content, yan. Pwede pa siyang tago. Also, it's very smooth. 120 hertz refresh rate. Just like your usual flagship experience. Smooth na smooth po sa social media. Oh, I love that. Ang ganda pala niya. Kapag nag-scroll sa Facebook, ah, look at that curved sides. So nice. Kung smooth siya dito, ibig sabihin ba gano'ng kabilis yung kanyang processor? Guys, 4 nanometer processor, Dimensity 9000. Here is the Antutu benchmark score of both phones. Well, <sighs> syempre, magkaparas na naman dapat yan. Uh, huwag nyo na masyadong dibdibain yung score. Huwag nyo sabihin, ah, mas mataas pala si non-pro kay pro version. Well, paras na naman to. Ayan. So, it's almost a million points in Antutu benchmark. Not as fast as the flagships of Snapdragon. Pero, Kaya baka mahal yun. Mahal yung mga Snapdragon na 8 Gen 2. In terms of speed, parang kasing bilis niya si Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 or 8 Gen 1. Around that kind of league. Now since bago na siya sa ating bansa, we tried it on Mobile Legends. Maganda naman siya. Although hindi pa siya ganun optimized But don't worry, you're not actually buying this phone for gaming. Ang hapa talaga dito is yung kanyang camera. And siya design and things like that. Kung Mobile Legends lang naman, okay na siya. When playing games, ah yun lang. So medyo weird to feel. Asa na yan nalang siguro. Ayan. So kasi merong parang ano dito. Now, tinanin naman siya sa Mobile Legends, no? And so far, so good naman. Smooth naman siya. Maganda yung colors, maganda yung graphics, and things like that. Walang lag, walang frame drops. It's a smooth experience. Kaya lang, of course, this is not yet super optimized. Kasi in terms of performance, pwede naman siyang ultra graphics, ultra refresh rate. Kayang-kaya naman niya yan. Uh, siguro in the near future, magkaroon tayo ng uh, updates for that. That would be great. Pero, it's optimized for Call of Duty. Ito, meron siya 90 frames per second mode. Kaya low graphics na yung pwede sa kanya. Pwede mo siya yung very high graphics, pero max frame rates lang. 60 FPS, ayun. Pero syempre, gusto ko yung try yung 90 FPS. Ay, ganda ng graphics. It's very nice looking here on this phone. Thanks to that curved display. Sobrang immersive na experience. Ang ganda. Yun nga lang, in terms of yung kanyang audio quality, could have been better. Mas malakas sana yung kanyang sound. And also, isa lang yung kanyang speaker na sa ilalim lang. It's not a dual speaker setup. Ah, ito. Ito yung hinitin ng lahat eh. The Genshin Impact gameplay. Since ito yung pinaka first na Dimensity 9000 review natin, alam niyo makasin reputation ni Dimensity 8100, di ba? We reviewed Dimensity 8100 phones the past few months and yung kanyang mga results ay napakaganda. Smooth na smooth, hindi umiinit, and the most optimized so far sa Genshin Impact. Anytime na meron ako na review na Dimensity 8100, tapos na. Pretty much the best, the most solid processor on any smartphone. Kapag merong ganun yung smartphone mo, instant but can the same be said sa Dimensity 9000? Here we go. Genshin Impact, 60 frames per second, ultra lahat. Ito na po. Okay, so the first thing na napansin namin, ang smooth niya. Grabe. Uh, no problems, no problems. Uh, performance, smooth na smooth talaga siya. Can rival the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 in terms of performance. Yun nga lang, no? Um, in terms of sa heating, although hindi siya super init, pero it's a little bit warmer than the Dimensity 8100. So, medyo mainit talaga siya. May, may konting ganun. Pero, hindi siya nagpa-throttle. Hindi po siya bumabagal. Hindi po siya nagpa-frame drops kapag ka umiinit dito sa part na to. That's what you need to know. Kaya lang, in terms of being comfortable when playing Genshin Impact sa Ultra Graphics, ayun lang. It's not gonna be the most comfortable experience. So, I guess siguro mag-high graphics ka lang para naman medyo mas comfortable or alam mo sa PC or sa console. Mas 
comfortable naman talaga yung experience doon. Pero yun, um, it's still not on the same league as the 8100 in terms of heating. Pero syempre, mas mabilis siya, mas suwabay pa rin siya kaysa sa 8100. It will push more FPS in this game, but at the expense of the convenience nung paglaro sa game. So, mukhang, wow, ang tagal maubos ng battery. Uh, usually sa mga flagship kasi guys, 4,000 milliampers lang. Ito, naglagay sila ng 5,160 milliampers na battery. And on top of that, mabilis din siya mag-charge 45 watts na. Yung nga lang, it may not be the fastest charging technology. But what matters is yung longevity ng charging. Now, in terms of performance, battery and charging, pares na pares lang po sila. So, kung ano nakita nyo kanina sa Call of Duty and Genshin Impact, pares na pares lang dito sa non-pro version. So, don't worry. And now, for the big reveal of the price of both phones. Here it is. Una una, X2 8256, nice 256 na. 32,999 pesos lang. Si Pro version naman, 42,999 pesos. 12 256 na. Wow, more RAM. At ayun po, si Techno Phantom X2 Pro flagship series ni Techno. I am super happy na nagkaroon ng flagship si Techno. A legit flagship. Hindi, parang para sa akin yung Techno Phantom X dati ay hindi flagship kasi Helio G95 lang. Ito legit. The Mensity 9000, flagship yung kanyang camera, innovative pa, bagong bago, retractable. And guess what? This is actually an eco-friendly product, 100% recyclable daw si X2 Pro. Kasi kapag mga tao may bili ng mga gadget, electronics, grabe yung epekto sa environment, yung waste kasi, yung waste product. Matindi guys. Kaya nga tinatanggal yung mga charger, di ba, sa mga box. Para mas environmental friendly daw, yun. Or mas, or piniperahan ka lang. But yes, I'm glad to have these two flagship phones from Techno. Well done, Techno. Keep up the good work. More flagships in the near future. Actually, in Techno Poba 4 Pro, still the number one entry-level mid-range smartphone in my website. So, yeah, there you go. And guys, if you want to see more Techno products on my channel, reviews, unboxing, and subscribe, click the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. But it's Bins, and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Woohoo.